Hey guys, uh, this is a quick um, video review of the AOKP ROM. Um, build version is 13th September. Um, it's just a you know a quick update uh, on uh, what has been going on since the uh, 28th uh, August build, because that's when I did my last review about this ROM. So yeah, you can notice the uh, change in the boot animation logo. You now have the uh, gears, pink gears with the uh, AOKP uh, unicorn logo, and uh, you can see the uh, lock screen. It is uh, the um, good old Jelly Bean uh, lock screen. And uh, the new thing about this lock screen is you have now the ability to add uh, different targets, these uh, lock screen targets uh, onto the lock screen. Uh, we'll get into that option later, uh, and uh, as you can see. I have customized my home screen. Um, I'm running the Apex launcher on top of this ROM. Um, you can see it's pretty smooth. Uh, I've included a window animation as well. Um, and it's running smooth. No problem whatsoever. And um, I have the 5x5 grid icon uh, setting, which I really like, um, which takes the advantage of uh, the uh, real estate of the, uh, um, you know, 4.8 inch screen of the Galaxy S3. And as you can see, I'm just showing you how uh, fast it is um, compared to the TouchWiz. And uh, yeah, you can see the new notification center and it has some toggles which I've customized myself. And you can also see I've added a brightness uh, slider to it. You can add that in the uh, settings, um, the settings given by this ROM. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. And let's get into the uh, ROM settings and let's see what has changed. So on the system settings, uh, let's take uh, a look at the um, ROM specific settings. Yeah, one new thing is the uh, OTA updater. So whenever you have a new version released by this uh, ROM developer, you can check for the version. It says right now that it's the latest working version because I've downloaded the latest version. And you can also manage certain options like automatic download or automatic update or uh, various different options what you can choose while you update uh, the ROM using this OTA updater. Um, I haven't really used this OTA updater because uh, I was testing between ROMs, so I just installed this AOKP all new again. That's when I made the previous video. Yeah, the other new option you can see is the hardware keys, similar to the um, option what you have seen, might have seen in the CM10. You now have option to enable custom actions for the hardware keys, like the home button, back button, and the menu button. And uh, yeah, this was the option what I was talking about. You can now add the lock screen target. Um, which was not previously present uh, for this AOKP build. I've set the lock screen target to 5 and you can also change the icons for the targets what you set. So um, you have little monochrome looking icon on the um, traditional looking lock screen so you can change those icons as well. And um, yeah, all the other options I guess are pretty much the same. Mm. Yeah, I think there's nothing much different about this. Um, I think one option, I guess. Uh, yeah, you notice that there is enable kill all button, um, which is in the general UI. Uh, that allows you to, uh, you know, sort of um, have the kill all tasks button, like you had in uh, Galaxy S3 TouchWiz based um, launcher. Um, yeah, you now have that option as well uh, included and all the other options I guess uh, have gone through in my last uh, AOKP video review I'll put a link in the description wherein I have gone through all these options uh, in brief I'm just showing you how if I got the circle battery indicator uh, you have an option up under the battery settings where you can change that indicator as well and uh, yeah overall I guess um, pretty good options a uh, few uh, minor improvements have been made in this ROM and I've tested the battery life as well uh, which is pretty good um, showing you how you can change the performance settings as well you can set the max CPU um, 
uh, processor speed and uh, let's leave it up to 1.5 by default and um, yeah you do have the device options um, which really are not used by anybody but you know, they're just there if you need them so yeah that's it i mean um, overall this is a pretty good drum a uh, few minor improvements netflix works everything works i mean uh, netflix works the camera works flawlessly i've tried it i've tried the video i've tried uh, the panorama mode i've tried the uh, normal photo mode as well you can take shots with good speed i mean it's it's a pretty good drum in terms of everything what you need um, you know in order to make it as a daily driver so yeah it's pretty snappy and i would definitely recommend this um to anybody who is looking out for a good uh, you know aosp based rom and uh, yeah that's it for this video um make sure to hit the like button down below and also comment if you have any questions about this uh, rom and thanks for watching